This is the plaintiff, Malika Jules. She says the defendant came into her hair salon to have her son's hair braided, and she also brought her three other kids in. Turns out, one of them broke her iPad, and when she told the defendant, the woman said something like, her kid likes to smash other people's stuff up. Well, that might fly in her family, but it certainly doesn't fly in her workplace with her property. So she's suing for $385, the cost to replace her iPad. This is the defendant, Shamika Chambers. She says, her kids and the plaintiff's daughter were all playing together, and everything was fine. Two weeks later, she goes back to the salon, and the plaintiff tells her she owes her money because her son supposedly broke her iPad. Now the plaintiff has bad-mouthed her all over the neighborhood. She has no proof nor evidence her son was the one who broke her property, and she certainly isn't buying her a new one. She's accused of not supervising her kids. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see it? Come to order, please. Litigant have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You Malika me? Jules, yes. you are suing Shamika Chambers and Kevin Levy Jr., your son. You're, you have power of attorney for your son. How old is yeah. your son? He's eight. Eight, all right. For $385, the cost to replace a broken iPad that, according to you, her son broke. Tell me what happened. Um, so basically around late October, um, Shamika walks into the salon and asked me if I could braid her. Do you her. own the salon or you're a stylist? I'm a stylist at the salon. Okay. She asked me if I could braid her son's hair, which is her last son, the baby. A different son? Yeah, yes. the baby. Right. Okay. Um, How old's the baby? Like, I think he was two okay. at the time. So okay. I told her, you know, it's fine if he sits. How long does it take to braid her? Well, it takes a little while, sometimes an well, hour or so. Oh my gosh, how do you get a two-year-old to sit still for an hour and something <laughs> crying? What was the cruelty? I had to jimmy him a little bit, you, you know, with what? the iPad and stuff. I had to jimmy him with the iPad. What's jimmy him? Like, you know, get him to watch the iPad. You That's know, called the, jimmy? Yeah, like, you know, like, sh like show him other stuff so that he doesn't cry. Like, get him away from the comb. No. Has anybody else ever heard that? I want to know if this is a thing or not. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so um, I told her, okay, you know, he didn't sit still, but then he, it was fine because he wasn't that bad. So, you know, um, all the kids were playing. My daughter was there. What are all there. the kids? Her, her three kids, because she got an older daughter. Um, she got two How old are all the children? My daughter is 15. I have a boy that's um, six and um, eight, and then the two-year-old. But my daughter wasn't there. Okay. So according yes. to you, your daughter wasn't there, she and wasn't you had there. just the six? I had the, 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 the three boys. And one of them was in the chair, which one, was a two-year-old. Right. So the six finished. and the eight-year-old mm -hmm. were playing. Playing with her daughter and another your son. Your daughter, who's how old? My daughter is four. Four. And what other child? There was another child? The lady that works there, her son, too, because my son... How old is that child? He probably was, like, around yeah. the same age with my son because okay. they was in the same school. Bunch of little kids. Go ahead. What happens? Yeah, so, you know, there was the topics or the conversation that was happening, you know, it was not suitable for kids upstairs because we were talking. And we decided, you know, since there's downstairs, you can let the kids go downstairs and play. What, where did they go downstairs? Downstairs, the salon, because the salon has an upstairs with the chairs and you get your hair done, and downstairs is where you get it washed and the dryers. Okay. So it's very spacious downstairs. So you send them downstairs to play. You know, you could hear them, they're in earshot. So probably like 30 minutes to 45 minutes later, my daughter comes upstairs. Your four-year-old? Yeah, no, she's, she was three at the time. She's three at the time? Yes, she comes upstairs, she's like, mommy, they broke it. They I'm broke like, what? That's, what? that's exactly what I said to her. I said, they broke what? She's like, they broke the iPad. So, you know, I, took, I went downstairs, I took the iPad, I went downstairs just to see, you know, the location or wherever, ask her, where did they break it? The iPad was broken where we do the dyeing of the hair, the table where we do the dyeing of the hair. I'm guessing probably the iPad was on there and the kids all wanted to play with it at the time and it fell off of the table. But what did your three-year-old tell you? She just told me that they broke it and she pointed to the one who broke the iPad. How do I know your three-year-old didn't break it? Because she been had her iPad from since she was. No, I know, but how do that. I know she didn't break it? And then she's embarrassed or, or scared or something. No, she wouldn't. I mean, be. she's three, you know. Well, she she been had her iPad from since she was young, a baby. I've always she's. I don't know she's, what that has to do with my question, though. Well, I don't. I don't know. Right. I can't. I can't tell you. Neither can I, because I don't have her here to cross examine, and I wouldn't, because she's three. But in any event, so your three year old tells you he did it, and then what happens? And then, you know, she's sitting in the chair, you're getting her hair done. 
So I go to her in the chair. I say to her. And you show her the iPad? Yes. I show her the iPad and I say, Shamika, my daughter says that your son broke the iPad. So she goes, <clears throat> which son? So I told her, you know, the one before the baby. I point him out to one her. before the baby. Yeah, that's the, the other son before her last son. I don't know their names. I don't know their ages. Okay. I just know that he was the son before her last son. Okay. Because, you know, they come in sizes. You, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> the middle size one. He's like a grande. You know? <laughs> got it. All right. Got it. She yelled did she at call him. him over? Yeah, she did yelled she at him. Did she ask yes. him if he did it? Yes, she yelled and at him. And what did he She's say? Like, um, you broke that iPad. I told you about touching people's stuff. Come well, over what here. What did he say? I guess he didn't say anything because he didn't say anything because he's a kid. Okay. You know, and then she was like, you know what? Well, Tamara, how much is it gonna cost to get it fixed? So you know, I said, no problem. I'm gonna go to the store right across the street, a tech shop right across the street, and get you the estimate of how much you get the screen fixed. The guy told me, he tells me it's $85. Right at that moment you did that? Yeah, right at that and moment. And how much was it going to cost to get fixed? $85. Okay, to get a new screen. Just to get, yeah, not the LCD screen, the, the, not what you see, just the outside layer. Right, that's the, the part yeah, that was broken. That's the part, it was cracked. Right, that's the part that was cracked. Yeah. So you were going to replace it, just like when I crack my phone 5,000 yes. times. Well, I don't, but my family does. <laughs> um, that, that you replace that glass, okay. Yes, right, so I came back and I told her that. She's like, fine, okay, you know, no problem. She's going, she's going to get it Did done. Did she take the iPad with she her? She took the iPad. Did she walk she, across the street? She took, no, I didn't see her walk across the street. I you thought, thought she was going to walk across the yes. street? Yes. She took the iPad and she left the store. Right. She, that confirmed and she's going to And then what happened? It. She comes back to the store like a couple of minutes later and she, told, she tells me, I'm going to drop you off the receipt. So basically, after that, I never, after that, I never heard from her. She Shemika. never came back to give you the she receipt? She never came back to give me the receipt. So did you call her? I did. I found a number for her. What do you mean you found a number for her? Yes, you I let found... her walk off with your iPad and you didn't take her name and number? No, I found a number for her. Wait, because wait. She, you let her walk off with your iPad? She's a regular you... stylist in the shop that I work. I see her all the time. She okay. lives around the way. Her kids go to school around the, the, around the block. I see her all the time. I see her kids all the time. A couple of weeks later, I got the wrong phone number for her at first. So I was basically texting the wrong phone number asking for... Let me just say that receipt. when you give somebody your iPad, you should be taking a picture of their license <laughs> and... <laughs> I, mean, she yeah, well, I mean, it was all kids right. playing, and I didn't want okay. to. I didn't want to. It looked like it wasn't going to be a problem. Yes. So then you, when you reach her, what does she say? She tells me she doesn't think it's her son who broke the iPad. That's after, the first time you hear that? That's the first time after three, four and then, months. But of she's had your iPad. iPad all that time? Yes, all that time. And so she, she goes, never walked across the street like you thought she would? I and what do you to say store. to her about that? Because she, she had a lot of attitude after. She had a lot of attitude when I would call her to find out about the iPad. Wait, so does she, is she ever telling you things like, yes, yes, I'm going to get to it? Or does she, from the beginning, say to you, I'm not fixing that iPad. I don't even know if it was from my From the son. beginning, she goes, I will fix your iPad. Well, did you ask her, why the heck didn't you take it over right there? I asked her. And what'd she say? She, nothing. No contact. What's She's going like, on? Stop. What's going on? <laughs> okay. I went to go get my hair done at the hair store. No, no, we so do not need to hear about your hair. <laughs> what happened with this iPad? The, she comes up to you and says, my daughter says your son broke her iPad. I wasn't, when I went to the shop, she never told me that day. I went back two weeks later because my um, aunt husband died, so I had to get a touch-up. That's when she came to me and said that she never got a chance to take it to the place across the street. So I said, okay, give it no, to no, me. No, no, wait, 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 wait. On the day in question, mm -hmm. did she walk up to you no, with the iPad and I didn't show know until two weeks later. Did she, on the day in question? No. I haven't asked my question. Mm. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So uh, what about the fact that she didn't confront her at the salon, didn't even complain or call her for two weeks? I think it's a little suspect because if you had an issue that day, you should address it same day and not come back two weeks <laughs> and try to make it a bigger, a bigger thing. Well, since there were other kids in the salon and she didn't confront her, does she really have the goods to win this case? I don't think she does at all. I mean, if, you, if your iPad broke and you thought somebody else did it, how long would it take you to confront that person if they were in a salon with you? Right on the spot. Right on the spot, right? Going inside the courtroom. On the day in question, did she say to you, your son broke my iPad? No. So according to you, the first you hear of anything is two weeks later two when weeks you walk later. in. Two weeks later. Is it children, are the children with you when you walk in? My, no, because I just asked my right. hairstylist. What say you to what she just said, that you never even mentioned it until two weeks later? That is not true. Okay. And even the oldest daughter she said that was not in the shop, she was in mm. the shop. Okay, so, so according to you, two mm. weeks later, she says to you, hey, 
two weeks ago, your son broke my daughter's iPad. Right. Right. And what do you do? My thing is, I was like, all right, where's the iPad? How we know he did it? Right. And she said her daughter pointed him out. So fine. I'm not into the back and forth. So I said, okay, give me the iPad and I'll fix I'm it. I'm sorry. So you, you say that you first learned of it two weeks later. You say you don't even have a chance to confront your child. You say a three-year-old identified him a week ago. And you say, oh, okay, here, give it to me. I'm going to have it fixed. Really? <sighs> that sounds nutty on your part. Not really, because she, when she told me, and it was a whole bunch of kids playing, so I'm like, you know what, they, maybe it could have happened. I didn't ask any questions. I said, all right, I'll just fix it. All right, so then why don't you go fix it? When she told me about to the, the guy across the street was going to do it, she said it was like a hundred and something dollars. And I was like, well, that's expensive. I was like, let me see if I can get someone. Because when my son, I Did you ever through... make any effort to get the glass fixed by somebody Absolutely. else? Get another estimate. Absolutely. What were the estimates? Let me see them. I, I don't mean once you got sued, honey. I mean back then. Well, I don't have that paper. Because I took it to the Apple store to find out how much. Oh, that's going to be cheaper. OK. Well, it kind of it kind of was cheaper. So why didn't you just get it fixed? I did get it fixed. When did you get it fixed? I got it fixed. I got it fixed after the third party told me that she said, you know what, I don't want to go to court. If she fix it now, I'll take it. And that's what I did. Because when I was, was, it was for the beginning of the Do you have the Apple receipt? Not the Apple receipt. I have the receipt where I got it fixed at. Well, you didn't get it fixed at Apple. Okay, where did you get it fixed at? I got it fixed at across the street because my brother knew the guy that did okay. it. Okay. How much did you pay to get it fixed? The $85. Okay, and she had told you it was going to be 100 and some? All right, did you get, do I have the iPad that's fixed? Yes, yeah, right here. All right, let's see it. While she's looking for the receipt. How old was this iPad? Um, I got it back in... Way back. Way back, yeah, yeah. When it first came out. It's working like a charm. Yes, it should be, because it was when I left it. <laughs> okay. Hand her her iPad. Did you ever talk to your kid and ask him, hey, did you drop it? I did. And what'd your kid say? He said, um, he said it was the other little boy that went with him in school. And then I knew, that's how I knew it was going to be like too much back and forth. And then the parent going to say no. And, and I'm like, I, could, I can't, I couldn't. So I no, just. No, I know. I, I, so, I understand that. Like, I understand that sometimes it's just easier to get out of it. Right. But like, I'm kind of curious as to why you accepted responsibility to begin with. If it happened like a week later, just somebody comes in and says, hey, a week ago, you're eight year old. My three-year-old says you're eight-year-old, blah, blah, blah. They always, why would you even take it? That's, that's my fault on my you, part. You think? Because, yeah, that's my fault. Okay. They, I felt How's like it looking? Should... It's good. Pretty good, it's right? Good. Yes. Case closed. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Okay, so everybody's happy now? Mm -hmm. Are you happy with that ruling mm -hmm. and how it came out? Yeah. Cost you some money? Not me, yeah, but not that much. It really doesn't matter. Now, are you convinced uh, that of who broke that, that iPad at this point? No, it was all these kids playing. I, if it was me, I would have went half and half, but it really doesn't. $85. I pay more for hair, so it's okay. Yeah, speaking of the hair, <laughs> who, who does your hair now? Well, she don't, I don't go back there because of what she... Just a whole bunch of stuff. So she lost a customer. She no, got her basically. iPad. But the person that does my hair is not even working there anymore. So. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, down there. All right, you got your iPad and you lost a customer. No, she wasn't my customer. Uh -huh. She was my coworker's customer. All right. Well, the place lost one. Well, um, we don't need deceitful customers anyway. Really? Deceitful, yes. Well, you got your iPad. She did the right thing. Eventually. Anything else? No. Harvey. Okie doke. Um, as she said, um, if somebody breaks your property or damages your property, it is really important. You confront them immediately. The longer you wait, the more you compromise your rights. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.